number 65, Brodro Cup. Our first match is going to be none other than, and both names are incorrect. Well, it's not incorrect, but they didn't. Uh, please respect the the the, the um, what's called the um, the order. So, Lonyu, you're supposed to be on the right, and uh, Lonyu, you're supposed to be on the left, and uh, Spolchis, you're supposed to be on the right. Please, next time, uh, respect the order. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to have to swap. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, Singapore, no, Singapore, Singapore, yeah, here we go. And uh, here we go. Lonyur. And the flag is Toby. Oh, okay, sorry for the wait. So, here we go. So, first match is gonna be Spoiled Cheese versus Lol Newer. So, Spoiled Cheese, a Giovanna player. I believe he participated to the previous Project Cup. I'm not 100% sure. And we have a problem already. What the hell? What is going on? <laughs> this is bad. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, what happened? I did a desync? No, I didn't. Okay. For what? That was a huge. A huge uh, down. I, I, that's the first time I've seen like a, such a, a big amount of lag. Anyways, here we go with Lol Newer trying to keep the corner pressure. He's gonna get the kill with the fishing rod. Very nicely done with a perfect, by the way. That was pretty crazy. Inject. Uh, okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> And here we go with, again, Lol's Newer trying to keep the pressure again with the Fishing Rod. He's got the follow-up hit. Here we go with the Command Grab. He's going to force the Afro on Spolchi. Spolchi still holding on to uh, their, their burst. Oh, and here we go with the instant teleportation into the RC for shock value. And first, a match goes to Lol's Newer. Very nicely done. Let's see how Spool Cheese is going to answer. I don't know if Spool Cheese is... Um, yeah, I hope I didn't mess up with the... Yeah, we're good, we're good. Perfect. And again, the command grab from Lolzmuir. It has been working a lot for him. Definitely uh, getting a lot of mileage out of it. And the double mix, mix, mix. And again with the fishing rod. This has been the bane of Spool Cheese. And Lolzmuir going on with the follow-up combo. He's going to get the wall break into the positive bonus. And the 6 speed to close it out. Good stuff from Lozniur. Definitely on point when it comes to uh, prevent Spoiled Cheese from jumping on him. And, oh my lord, the cojones on this man. Just walk up 6 speed. <laughs> okay, here we go. The uh, Spiral Arrow again with the 6 speed for preventing Spoiled Cheese from getting off of the ground. Again with the 6 speed, man. God lord. Good lord. Good stuff from Lozniur, man. Anticipating that, yeah, Spoiled Cheese will go right away with a jump again with the 6 speed. This has been the bane of Spool Cheese, man. Okay, Lozier has Spool Cheese exactly where he wants. He kind of messed up his RC follow-up, but got the kill with the overhead. Good stuff from Lozier with a quick 2-2-0. Two, two, Let's see how Spool Cheese is going to answer. We shall see. And on to the potential final match of this set. My dual heart is aching and mine as well. It's been 6P City, man. Well, again with the 6P. This time around, Spool Cheese respecting the startup, but not challenging it for some reason. Yeah, the 6P has been the bane of Spool Cheese during this uh, this uh, this match. And Spool Cheese not just holding on to the burst, man. Like, it's uh, very surprising. Probably aiming to get, like, a gold burst or something. Unfortunately for him, it seems like he's going to die with it again. And the air to air in favor of Lol's Newer. And just like this, Lol's Newer is on... Match points. Let's see how this pans out again with the oh, this time around he was able to low profile the follow up fishing rod again with the 6p man. Okay, not get okay. Ah, I got hit by the uh, the bomb man. That's unfortunate. Oh, and the, the Ron Asante couldn't quite get the juggle right after. And Lolzner just pressing buttons in the uh, pressure of Spolchi. Spolchi with the badly time 6p, no punish on the mix mix. Mix uh, on block, and here we go. Finally, finally, Spolchi's getting something, but still got scooped by the overhead. And just like this, man, Lol's newer takes it a clean. Let's see if this is going to be the redeeming arc of Giovanna. We shall see in a couple of seconds. So, Corona Fighter, who went by the name of DJ Hameyama previously, uh, this time around chose to uh, be called Corona Fighter. So, let's see how this pans out. Probably it will not affect his, uh, his level. Immediate burst from Chinti. 
Ah, and very nice experience there. Catching, actually, it was a 4S. I'm sorry, it's not a 6P. And the air to air calendar hit, unfortunately, for Corona Fighter, wasn't able to get the follow up. Extremely gutsy bag dash right there on the Fafnir from Chinchi. And Chinchi not giving an F, just letting that DP grip. Wow, that. Okay, here we go. I think that Chinchi got. Yeah, got the block. He's gonna get the full punish, thus fully charged. Oh, and drop the combo. This is unfortunate. And Corona takes this opportunity to apply some more pressure. Goes for the cross up and gets the kill. Good stuff from Corona. Let's see how this pans out. A very, very strong performance from Corona Fighter right off of the bat. Here we go with the bandit. Oh, Lord. And we still have a uh, connection error. What is going on? This is the second time, actually. This is strange. This is the, the actual second time we're having this. Very nice grab from Corona. Fighter goes for the jump in and... Yeah, that counter hit way too hard. <laughs> Very nice confirms from Corona Fighter. I'm happy we didn't get a desync though, because that would have been really annoying. Wow, this has been a very, very strange tech from uh, Chinchi. Using the bad dash, then blue RCing, and then going for a forward bandit. It's, it's very interesting. Uh, I have some problems seeing the actual use of it, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure that if Kinchi does it for, he probably does it for a reason. That being said, here we go with uh, Return to the Normal. Very nice 6HS from Kinchi. Wasn't quite able to get the follow up and get scooped by the wonderful 2D from Corona Fighter, who's got the optimization station right there. Goes for the cross up again. Goes for the blue RC and gets the juggle. Even almost got. Oh, he almost got the uh, the side switch. That being said, here we go with Kinchi in the corner and the option select to not get hit by DDP and immediately punishing it with a grab. Good stuff from Corona Fighter. Very big start of the round with the 4 HS and the punish on the Bandit Revolver. Chinchi in, in pretty dire straits right there. Oh, um, finally manages to get out of the corner, but gets hit by the 6P right there from Corona Fighter. Very nice defense right there from Corona. Was it uh, forced to pop the burst? And again, Chinchi just popping that DP in block strings, man. Not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, okay, no DP this time around. Corona probably a little bit more passive this time around. Doesn't want to get scooped by a, a DP in the block strings. Okay, here we go with Chinchi. Ah, and God grabbed again. I keep telling you guys, Giovanna is a grappler. She's a grappler, man. She is. She totally is. Get on to the potential final round of this match. Let's see how this pans out. Is Chinchi going to be able to make it back? Immediately start of the round with the Bandit Revolver counter hit, man. This, this man is, has, knows no fear. To go with the Bandit Revolver. Finally, Chinchi. Oh, had something going on, unfortunately. A badly timed. Meaty made it so he was grabbed. Here we go with the Bandit Bringer. Ah, you can see, yeah, Chinchi. Uh, trying to fish for the uh, with the 2S for it. Oh, but gets scooped by the, uh, the the spiral arrow. This is unfortunate for him. Very nice confirmed by Corona Fire. They're gonna get the hard knockdown and Chinchi his life like ending by a thread. He gets scooped by the grab empty jump grab by Corona. Corona Fighter on the verge of taking this match. Good stuff. Get start of the round with the 2, the 4S counter hit. Wasn't quite able to connect this follow up though and because of that gets grabbed and side switch in the corner. This is absolutely dreadful and unfortunate for him. However, he gets the 4, no, the 6HS counter hit in. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. 4S back in neutral. Ah, Chinchi lets the DP pop once again. Corona had forgotten about it. It's not over though. Goes for the safe jump. The sweep. Ah, is forced to pop the burst. No 6P. Yes, the 6P. Is he gonna finish it? No. Corona still had their burst. They're bad, they believe. Oh no. And you could see that Chinchi was actually. No. That was awesome. That was good stuff. Good stuff from Corona. Fighter takes it with the aerial overdrive from Giovanna. Uh, after effects of them and uh, of it actually so yeah it does make me cough a little bit i apologize in advance that being said here we go with the start of the battle is going to be none other than takarin axel versus bro jacko both extremely strong uh players and masters of their respective char characters immediate start of the round with takarin with the 2 hs counter head wasn't quite able to convert it into anything substantial due to the uh distance between both of them 
Debbie is saying, here we go with Bro with the Onslaught got immediately, immediately cancelled into the Illusion Driver. Kaboom! Okay, Bro almost got the corner positioning, but Takarin with his absolute awesome timing of pressing buttons right there was able to shift the momentum back. Goes with the Lensengeki trying to keep... Oh, yeah, force Bro to keep the distance. Is he gonna pop? He's gonna pop. Okay, confident that he can take it again with the 2 HS man. <gasps> force the first! Oh, and is he gonna get it? He's gonna get it. Oh, that was sick. That was sick, man. Takarin. Takarin just staying there, man. He had a, just a little bit of life left and was able to make the comeback. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. I feel your pain. My sense of smell is just now coming. Ah, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, that honestly, everybody keeps talking about Corona, but the flu is equally as annoying as Corona, especially with the after effects. That being said, here we go with Bro finally finding an offensive right there for Sistakarin to pop the yellow Roman cancel and immediately um, goes with the 2K into the overhead while the uh, quick dust in order to seal the deal. First round, first match goes to Takari. Very nicely done. See how this pans out. And duo one. Oh lord, the the two S to get rid of the minion. That was really godlike. Good stuff from Takarin. Forces bro to pop the burst. Here we go. He's got the jump in. He also went for a shimmy. Actually, forced bro to uh, try to take a non-existent grab and took this opportunity to just jump back on him and get a counter hit into a devastating combo. Is he gonna get the wall break and the kill? Oh, Lord, he will! Takarin out for blood, man. This is what I'm talking about. Good stuff from Takarin. Gets the first round of the second match as well. We go with the water, the rainwater. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for the follow, decent perversion, and welcome to the bro joke. Okay, and here we go with the 2 HS again, man. Takarin wants to keep bro in the corner, doesn't want him to get out, and definitely does not want him to throw any minion in his general direction that being said bro is very stubborn unfortunately tries to go for a grab but Takarin reading it just backdashes and punishes accordingly very nice centers right there with the standing key and just like this Takarin seals the second match good stuff right here on to the third match let's see if bro can find some sort of way to reverse the momentum which is 100% in, in favor of Takarin this dude knows no limit is afraid of nothing uh, tries to go with the nair to air a little bit too uh high in the air though bro was that being said bro in prime position to force the pressure on takarin takarin ah has to take it man and you are in pressure land and look at the damage no <laughs> takarin with the currents just jumping out of the corner but bro uh, afraid that takarin was probably going to burst right there gave an opportunity for him to actually get back on his feet and forced and with and incidentally forces a bro in the corner bro popping the burst okay this is back in neutral land ah no more no more no this is unfortunate no more minions to save you what are you gonna do and gets hit by the sickle storm good stuff from uh, from takarin on match point is he gonna be able to take it ah, and you can see takarin not afraid to just run straight Close to bro, man. Anticipating that he's going to jump back in order to try to put some minions on the oh on the stage. And that being said, a big jump in counter hit right there from Takarin. Doesn't get any entire though. Gets jumped in by bro. But the jumping timing of Takarin, man, pristine. Not to get hit by the uh by the um the, the, oh lord. And you can see him just just hitting each and every single uh what's called uh minions and getting rid of them he even got the yrc because didn't quite get the punish on it though doesn't get hit and jumped on oh again just jumping around man jumping around and it's working extremely well he's going to get one board not at all good stuff from bro finally puts one on the board at least one round that is <laughs> there we go 2k2d Takarin respecting the pressure, unfortunately presses the button at a very bad timing. Okay, forced. Oh, and that tick, man. Woo! <laughs> and bro using the 2D, unfortunately gets side switch because of it, and Takarin is out of jail because of it. Okay, air to air in favor of Takarin. That being said, bro was able to grab him on the way down. Here we go with the side switch grab, and oh no, Takarin gonna pop the 2S. Oh, 2S, but whiffs. Okay, bro is out of... Uh, out of dangerous way, but he doesn't have any burst. 
and he's forced to endure that. And here we go with the air to air favor. Takarin seals the deal. A quick three. Okay, and here we go with the next battle. is going to be none other than Corona Fighter versus Nikolajiro. And Nikolajiro popping the Anji again? Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nikolajiro has been uh, playing around with some various alternative uh, characters. So it's actually very, very fun to see him play because every single time you can see that he's playing against some uh, with a different character. That being said, here we go with the big onslaught from Nikolajiro. Definitely here to bring the pain. <laughs> I might say, and oh, the very nice juggle from the very nice juggle from Corona Fighter. He's gonna get Nikojiro exactly in the corner where he wants him. I wanted to call you, but uh, you still won't give me your number. <laughs> how's that? How's that? Call me, call me. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my number, I cannot give it as easily as that. Another guess, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but that being said, here we go with Corona Fighter. Oh, 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 and the big counter hit right there from Nicholas. You know, he's got Corona Fighter where he wants. Playing hard to, of course, I'm very hard to get another castle. Lovely bait indeed. And here we go with the juggle from Corona Fighter. He's got Nicholas you know, in the corner. Ah, I got the opening. Couldn't quite get the conversion though. Oh, okay. oh my lord, what is this? What is going on? Unfortunately, he lands right where the grab from Nicholas you know, was already. Oh! already started very nice just the fan right there from nikojiro he goes with a straight nagiha again with the nagiha he's gonna get the juggle this is gonna do a lot of damage i don't think it's gonna kill no it's not yrc right there from corona fighter he needs to make something happen couldn't quite get the kill oh and goes for the quake dust for the kill good stuff from corona fighter gets the first uh the first match extremely convincingly let's see how this pans out Okay, just one second. I think somebody called me here. Okay, arigato gozaimasu. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Nobody called me in the in the chat. Oh, okay, okay. That's the reason why you were saying this. Uh, <laughs> okay, now I understand another count. I'm really dumb. Okay, now I understand what you're saying. <laughs> yes, I'm playing hard to get. I'm sorry. I cannot answer the phone as easily as that. <laughs> That being said, here we go with Nikozero popping the real, the real deal now. You see, Nikozero is a Potemkin fan. And that's the reason why he is uh, popping Potemkin right now as I speak. Since he lost the first match, which is, which is uh, pretty understandable. Here we go with the slider head. Uh, Nikozero, wow, and that just defended into the backdash, into the forward, uh, into the 4Hs. Very nicely done by Corona Fighter. Oh, goes with blue RC combo. Ah, uh, catches the backdash. Doesn't go for the Garuda Impact, goes for it right there. Very nicely done. And here we go again with uh, Corona Fighter getting the ball break. Uh, okay, one second, we have a problem. Let me get Let me check real quick. We have a problem. Okay, Twitch. Twitter. <laughs> okay, here we go. そう、<笑><笑> えっと、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、
。はい、じゃあ、えっ、ー、と、そうですね。あ、来ました。オッケー、よかったです。ありがとうございます。よかったです。オッケー、here we go with I'm sorry, yeah, we had a small, 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 small. Oh, Lord, and Corona Fighter up 2 to 0, yo. オッケー、are we going to see Uh, the Kojiru gets sent, pre um, gets sent to the losers, that would be a first. Usually makes it into the semi-finals. But yeah, Corona Fighter definitely doing a good job of uh, just containing that storm that is... Uh, that is... Um, uh, that is Nikojiru. Okay, I think we're good now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my lord, the big 6P right there from Nikojiru and Corona Fighter. Not all... Oh! Lord, because you do with the aerial grab, not afraid, unfortunately. Oh, that was crazy good. Good stuff from Corona Fighter. He did have two bars of tension in order to make his wake up. Oh, and he gets scooped. You got scooped. De janvier est déjà la brouge comme ça. Ah, bah oui, mec. Pas déconner, mec. On déconne pas ici. And on with the second round, Nikojiro. Nikojiro trying to make a comeback. He does need this one and the next match if he wants to bring it back. We shall see. Very nice far S. With the Mega Fist, Slider Head, and Corona Fighter actually waiting for it. He was waiting for that and immediately jumped on him. Here we go with the Wall Break with a deep fully charged Dust. Ah, again with the Slider Head. Tanks one hit, and here we go with the Tick Throw. The Tick Command Grab, actually. Half of your life is gone, my brother. Oh, Lord, and here we go with the... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, Corona Fighter had to take it. Unfortunately, he gets good because he's been blocking a little bit too much, and... Saved by the burst, and you can see Corona Fighter. Uh, he was, he was, yeah. You can see that um, Nikoji was fishing for that aerial overdrive, immediately punishing uh, Corona Fighter once he was uh, on the on the floor. Okay, Corona Fighter immediately with the dash into the grab again with the grab. Corona Fighter wants this one so bad. Ah, you go with the 4HS. Oh no, and the bad burst. Okay, this time around, Corona Fighter. Oh, oh! Too far. Oh, and the air to are in favor of Corona Fighter. He's gonna get a lot of drive. Oh, and the wake up overdrive. Oh, Lord. Corona Fighter not afraid. Uh, kind of scoops the uh, the back mega fist, but unfortunately gets hit by the the 6P from Nikojiro. What's gonna be the wake up? Oh, no. And the jump in again with Nikol. Oh, Lord. Corona Fighter almost got the juggle. He was about to get the kill. Ugh, and the aerial overdrive, which is plus unblock. You should not press a button after this one. Yeah, that missed. That missed. That did. Well, yeah, it did miss. Yeah, the uh, the the arc of the attack arc of the uh, overdrive, the aerial overdrive with Giovanna is actually pretty uh, narrow. So you can make it whiff if you back that. You don't back dash, but you you back away a little bit, and then you can punish your recovery. But you need to have some. Yeah, you need to be really, really sure and certain of your your. Uh, your spacing, or, or else you might get hit by it when you try to actually uh, punish uh, the the opponent that... Oh, Lord. <gasps> and the damage. Look at that. And just... Uh, by the way, Corona Fighter was on match point, on on uh, set point. But Nikoji is bringing it back. Let's see how this pans out. Nikoji definitely needs this one if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Here we go with the forest. Just the fan. Nikoji checking, checking the dashes from Corona Fighter with the forest. Again with the forest. Oh no, entire on this one. Where was the 6P? And here we go with Corona Fighter going with the 2S, the double hit. Ah, and he's got. Oh, he's got Nikoji exactly where he wants him. <laughs> he's got the wall splat into the uh, overdrive. He's gonna get the uh, hard knockdown. Oh lord! And Nikoji just. Oh, that was that was it. No, Corona Fighter. No. So hard, and Corona Fighter popping the overdrive right in the blocking stream screen uh, strings. I'm sorry, from Nikoji. Off stream match. Oh yes, you may stop. <coughs> Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie, and on to the next battle. Wait, yes, yes, on to the next battle. Moogie with Moke, again, Smoke on actually, and Moogie rocking Leo again. Leo is not the main character of Moogie, but Moogie has been, uh, he's been fiddling around with a couple of alternative uh, characters, so let's see how this pans out this time around. 
an immediate start of the round with Mokon getting the uh, counter hit. <clears throat> and the counter hit of himself by Mugi. He's got Mokon exactly where he wants him. Here go the onslaught. Very nice back dash though by Mokon, unfortunately. Mugi mistimed his. Uh, ooh, mistimed his uh, pressure in the corner and got grabbed in consequence. Very nice standing K right there from Mugi. And he's gonna get the punish on. Yeah, now yeah, this is gonna be the very nice stuff. Waiting for the OTG just to be safe, just in case Mokon was going for a uh, wake up burst. That being said, here we go with. Ah, Mugi got the counter hit. Woo! And here we go. The onslaught is real. Very nice check right there from Mugi. Got the three jabs into these vites. Ooh, and the big, big, big 4 chest counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. And again, man, you can see Mokon pressing a lot of buttons, unfortunately, for it. Uh, Mugi, he mistimed his uh, his ground pound, if I might call it. Oh, his tower, I'm sorry. Oh, and here we go with the dust for the punish. First match goes to Mugi. Extremely convincing uh, performance. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the first match. Okie dokie, and here we go with the onslaught from Mokon. Definitely. La filtre l'on pisa tellement qu'elle est tellement bien, mec. Damn, your language skill is say, sick. Nah, it's not now, dude. I definitely need more. I need more. I need to become better. That being said, here we go. Back to the match. And again with the 4 HS from Mokon, man. Definitely doing the job of keeping Mugi's dashes in check. Uh, Mugi trying to fish for the burst, I believe. Okay, he's got the corner pressure, and as you know, uh, Leo's corner pressure is godlike. Ooh! Okay, very nice check right there from Mugi. Forces the burst on Mokon. Mokon immediately. Ooh! Goes for. Oh! And finally, Mugi. Oh no! So oh, good stuff by Mugi, man. Using the RC to uh, punish the burst, uh, the blood rage uh, from Mokon. Well, first to be able to block it and then to punish it accordingly. Here we go with the wake up. Rise, Eisenstrom. Okay, good stuff from Mugi. He's got the tower. Oh, he almost got the overhead. Okay, here we go. The clone. A little bit too far to get anything going. And again, Mokon with the 4 HS man has been working a lot for him. Oh, Lord. Oh. Here we go with Mokon. He's got the corner pressure. Goes for the command grab. Is he going to kill? I don't think so. Now he's on. There's a little bit of damage. Oh, good stuff. Oh, and the DP gets. Yeah, gets. Oh, too far from for the Jacques Chirac. And here we go with Mokon, who goes for the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff. He gets the second round, and on to the final round. Après sur la portée aux nobles de Nago. Oui, tout à fait, tout à fait. Here we go with the 2K TD from Mokon. Oh, he tried to get the command grab, but Mugi was aware of it. He managed to get the backdash in consequence. Again with the 4HS man, keeping Mugi in the corner exactly where he wants him. Mugi not afraid to just to just dash straight and again with the dashes and the 2D from Mugi, he's gonna get the kill. No, he's not. No, a little bit too far. Oh, he gets good by the 2S and that was a bad burst and this is definitely going to bite Mugi. This is definitely gonna make him think. Yeah, oh, that was so unfortunate. Uh, by the way, it's one to one I do believe it is. Yeah, it's one to one Is Mugi going to... Uh, no, he is going to stick with Leo. Well, it was definitely like, yeah, he, he should have had it, by the way, but he dropped it. Wow, and you can see Moklon's fishing, man, just pressing 6p, 6p, again, 6p, again with the 6p. What is, what is going on? Is Moklon, is Moklon, oh, okay, here we go with the 6hs. Moklon being a little bit too, too cheeky right there, I felt. Okay, very nice use of this bite to punish the recovery frames of the 6hs. Again with the checks from Moogie, man. Ah, it gets scooped by the uh, far S though. Here we go with the two S, two HS. Oh, again with this vibe, man. Mugi on point. Okay, he's got deep combo. He's gonna get the wall break. And here we go with the Jack Shirak. Jack Shirak. <laughs> oh, oh no, you didn't, sir. Now ah, this is on point. Okay, he's got the second bar to make it safe. And here we go with the pressure, man. And again with the. For HS for the kill. And uh, Mugi on the point. Oh, he's about to get the third match as well. Very nice. Big, big, big counter hit on the 
Uh, oh no, he went with the command grab of his own, but this time around, Moko was definitely on point. Uses the burst to keep Mugi in the corner and very cheeky attempt to use the command grab by himself, but Mugi was aware of it. Backdash and punish accordingly. You go with the just defense. Again with the standing S and the follow up S. You can see Mukon couldn't commit to extending the corner. Oh, and here we go with the air. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the second match as well. What is Mokon going to do? Is he going to keep it? Yeah, he's going to keep to it. Definitely believing in his Nago. He needs this one though. And the big, the big start of the round with the 2K and 2, 2D. Oh, but here we go with the air to air in favor of Mugi. Forced Mokon to block. And he's got the corner combo. Boom, boom, kaboom. And Jacques Chirac. We go with the wall break. Good stuff from Mugi. No, oh, and the jump, and unfortunately, he was a little bit too low profile to get hit by it. And got and incidentally, Mugi got grabbed on his way down. Here we go with the Nugget Burger. Unfortunately, gets uh gets hit by the clone, which can tank. Uh oh! Good use of the RC right there to make himself safe. Okay, here we go. Moko not committing too much. He definitely wants Mugi to press the button, but Mugi just knowing exactly when and when not to press a button and calls Mokon out for it. That being said, here we go. We are on set point. Is Mokon gonna be able to take it? He gets a very nice start of the round. Couldn't get the wall break. This is definitely not something you want to drop. Okay, here we go. Nice conversion. Well, nice, uh, nice confirms. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill by any means. That being said, Mugi does have burst. He might want to keep it for the next round. And here we go, start of the uh, yeah, immediate use of the uh, DP and DP follow-up from Mokon. Hits its target and gets the kill. Here we go, Mugi has to deal with the pressure. Goes with this fight. Mugi definitely uh, a little bit shy of using... Uh, oh, no! Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage. Mokon probably going to pop the burst. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, too. Oh, and here we go. The jump in. Mugi in prime position to take it. He's got the extension with URC and he secures the kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Takes it. Itoba Ichiro, who rocks the very, very mean Leo. Let me just double check if uh, the flags are correct. I do believe they are. Yes, they are. Perfect. Uh, so, Toba Ichiro rocking Leo. We don't have a lot of Leos in general in, uh, well, in Japan. I was going to say in the Bro Joker, but in Japan in general. Uh, so it's actually very, very nice to see a second Leo player, especially a new one. That being said, here we go! Oh my lord! And the immediate use of the aerial overdrive by Kohide hits the 6p attempt of Ichiro. Okay, here we go. No DP, wake up DP right there from Ichiro. He didn't have the means to make it safe anyways. Very big for HS for the... Oh, not the kill, but he does have the corner pressure and wake up overdrive right there from Kohide. This man is not afraid. It's a slip, not a down. Good stuff from Kohide. He gets the first... Oh, Lord. He gets the first round. No DP right there from Ichiro or no, no 6P. This is really unfortunate. Though you can see Kohide trying to bait the DP. No, oh, and the big follow-up of the guard point for the... Uh, for the counter hit, that being said, Kohide used the back dash and he uses a... Ah, uh, that was definitely an option to like right there to take care of either back dashes or wake up DPs. And again, Ichiro with the wake up DP, man. This man is not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, no. And the RC to recover in time to punish the burst. Good stuff from Kohide. This man is definitely on point. He's got the eye for the weak spots. Is definitely that. This is... This is exactly what happened right there. Good stuff from Kohide. The double, the double, um, what's it called? Spinning Bird. Well, Cannon Drill, I'm sorry. Ooh, that was probably a 2D. Unfortunately for Ichiro, he uh, probably missed input it and got a, uh, got a Dust instead. And here we go with Kohide with the Overdrive Wall Break. No Wake Up DP right there from Ichiro. He did get the 2K, the 2D for the knockdown, but couldn't quite get any follow-up for it. This is really unfortunate. And the second uh, round goes for Kohide. Here we go. You can see yeah, Kohide just popping the 2D, man. Oh, Lord. A very nice dash into the grab right there from Kohide. You get the jump in. And he's got the follow-up, the, uh, the corner combo. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, pans out again with the 6P, man. He gets his, he hits his target. 
finally chill force to pop the burst goes for the double bite and it is gonna get a pretty nice combo it's not gonna kill no it's not it's probably not he goes for the save jump and gets the vp bait good stuff from kohide gets the second match as well very nicely done good stuff from kohide let's see if yuchiro can bring it back it it's bound to be hard, not gonna lie. And here we go, both dashing forward, but Kohide managing to get the, the, the grab. And Ichiro immediately pops the burst though, this unfortunately... Oh, Loshi tries to go for the guard point, that being said, Kohide is aware that guard point cannot be blocked low. And here we go with the block point follow-up. Here we go with the tower. Ah, very nice punish from Kohide. Ah, okay, he's got the... Four. Oh! Yeah, you can see, like, Ichiro a little bit wary of the wake-up reversal from Kohide. He's got the command grab. Is this gonna kill? It's probably... Yeah, it is. Oh, no! No! But it's still okay. He got the... Uh, was able to uh, to slip in a quick dust for the kill. That was really, really, really scary there from uh, Ichiro. He's got the guard point follow-up. Goes for the guard break. Tries to go for the... Oh, Lord! Good in and outs right there from Kohide. He's got the grab. We did going for the safe jump. And Ichiro waking up with 2D man. Is he gonna get that? No, he's not. Ah, this is unfortunate. Wake up reversal again from Kohide. Got the 2D counter hit. I couldn't quite get the follow-up. And again with Ichiro using the 2D man. Ah, and this time around. Kohide on point with the whiff punish on the 2D. And here we are again on set point. Is Ichiro going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Ah, uh, that was a bad DP, unfortunately for him. He gets uh, punished accordingly by Kohide Ichiro uh, in the corner. This is really not looking very well for him. Here we go with the flip kick, man. And yeah, Ichiro not on point right there. He's going to get wall broken. Ah, uh, here we go with this fight. This fight again. She goes for the uh, side switch. No, that was probably a misinput. And just like this, Kohide takes it a very, very clean 3-2 nail. Uh, Gobo fans versus Mugi. Mugi versus Gobo fans. Mugi again rocking the Leo. We shall see if that is the correct uh, choice for him or not. I really don't know. I cannot tell you. We shall see. A lot of Leos today. A lot of Leos and a lot of Giovanna's actually. We go with the <laughs> with the standing dust. Oh, and Gobo fans get scooped out of the air. Oh, there we go. Gobo fans. With the oh, unfortunately for him, Eddie got killed. Ah, he goes for this fight. Uh, unfortunately, Gobo fans couldn't block this. He's gonna get... Ah, yes, this is wall break. And this is the kill. Good stuff from Mugi gets the first round. Let's see if Mugi can keep it up. Or if Gobo fans can bring it back. We shall see. Okay, there you go. Eddie is out. Gobo fans successfully baiting uh, the button right there from Mugi. Mugi with the tick pressure. Ah, uh, unfortunately for him, Eddie got killed. Very nice 6P right there from Global Fans, but Mugi wakes up with the DP. Goes for the Zvite extension. He's gonna get the wall break again and the Jacques Chirac. Jacques Chirac. Ah, uh, very nice too. Ah, uh, the trade in favor of Mugi, I'd say, managed to kill Eddie right afterwards as well. Very nice 6P though from Mugi. Unfortunately, a mistimed. Uh, Midi right there made it so that Gobo fans could get out of the pressure. He goes for the quick dust cancel and he's gonna get the Among Us for the kill. Good stuff from Gobo fan. Puts one on the board as well. Let's see if Gobo fans can keep it up. Here we go with the trade and the oppose in favor of Gobo fans. He's got the extension stage, unfortunately for him. Mugi picks up with the DP, goes with the oh, very nice jump out right there from Gobo fans. Ah, and Mugi lands on the spikes. And here we go again with the 2S to punish the attempts of Mugi to try to kill Eddie. Yeah, you can see Gobo fans on... Yeah, Gobo fans knew. He knew. What uh, Mugi is doing right now, he tries to hit Eddie out. He tries to hit Eddie uh, in between his hikes attempts. And uh, Gobo fans noticed it. So what he did is basically he... Uh, ordered Eddie to do one pike, well, to do his pike, and then you could see Global Fans just dashing forward and using the 2S to punish the mashing attempts from Mugi to hit the second hit of the pike of Eddie. So that made it so that not only did the pike follow up was able to hit Mugi for uh, a, a combo extension, but it also 
prevented Mugi from trying to kill Eddie. So yeah, two two birds, one stone. And just like this, Mugi is swapping uh, to his main because yes, Mugi is a Nagori Yuki main. Probably uh, realizing that yeah, beating Gobo fans is not going to happen, not with his uh, Leo. And here we go again with Gobo fans using the two S to check the uh, the mashing attempts right there from. Uh, Mugi, unfortunately for him, a mistimed attack right now made it so that Global Fans was grabbed. Very nice back dash right there from Global Fans. He goes for the quick dust, and just like this, Global Fans is gonna take it. Good stuff, man. Holy freaking lord, Global Fans on point. How are you doing, Shadow Cross? You good, Kung J? Welcome to the. Oh, yeah, Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year's. Oh, and the big 2 HS counter. This did a lot of damage. That being said, Rigo with Global Fans, he's got Mugi in the corner right where he wants him. He did get one hit on Eddie. Again with Eddie, uh, you have to respect it. Ah, that was a mistimed attack, I'm sure. Oh, okay, we go with the mash attempt from Gobo fans. Again, yeah, Gobo has to hold it. And immediate use of the overdrive to seal the deal and get the kill. Good stuff from Moogie. Boom! Good stuff from Moogie gets the kill. And on to duel number three. Oh, okay, here we go with the 6P. Correctly, uh, blocked by Gobo fans, but get hit by the follow up. Not, uh, so I forgot the name. The Beyblade. I'm a great fan, having an outing day to start the new year. That's good, that's good. Call me Punk J. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you Punk J. That's how I know you, so I'm definitely calling you Punk J. Here we go with the uh, Pikes again. And here we go with Gobo fans using the Overdrive to extend his eddy pressure again with the Spikes. Okay, we go with the oppose and Mugi still. Ah, Mugi just pressing the good old standing K for the kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Puts one on the board as well. Is Gobo Fan going to stick to his gun? He probably will. Good stuff. The start of the round. A trade and again with the oppose. However, Eddie is not here anymore. He has to take the pressure. Very nice 6P, but nobody home. Again with the 2S to punish. The punish attempts of Eddie. Gobo Fan's forced to. Pop the burst again. Very nice interior right there from Gobo Fan. He's got Mugi in the corner. He's gonna get the uh, overdrive into the hard knockdown. It's going to be guaranteed pressure on Wake Up again with the 2S man. Good stuff. And just like this man, just like this man, Gobo Fans man takes the lead. Good stuff, man. Here you go, Gobo Fan taking the lead. I told you guys, he's a very strong Zato player. Managed to take one match off of Daruno, so I mean, there, there's no like, there's no questioning whether he's a good Zato player or not. Very nice trade right there from Gobo Fan, unfortunately. Oh lord! No, too far! But it's still okay, he's got the pressure. Ah, here we go, almost got the air to air again with the 2 6 p in a row. Ah, and the trade in favor. I cannot tell you exactly. Ooh, I guess it's just a regular trade. And Gobo fans getting the punish on the block YRC. And just like this, Gobo fan takes the lead. This is crazy. The new year just started and we're already got Brojo Cup. Of course, man, of course. And it's a pleasure for me. It's a pleasure for me to do this. I do this because I because I love it. So no worries. Always count on me for the Brojo Cup. Be it New Year's Eve, be it holiday, be it working day, I'm always going to do the Brojo Cup. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the 2K. Boogie gets the 4 HS counter hit. He did get the knockdown. He's got Gobo Fans right in the corner and Gobo Fans is managing. Woo! Gets the... Oh, the, he gets... Oh no, the side switch, but too far to get the command grab. This is unfortunate for Moogie. What is Moogie doing? Yeah, trying to wait for... Yeah, trying. he just waited for Eddie to get out of there. And here we go again with the 6P, man, but cannot find anybody home again. 6P. Ah, this time around he popped the 6H. Yes, he's going to go for the command grab. Okay, he got a little, a little punished, but oh, okay, he tried to go with the very nice mixes right there from Boba Fan. He's got the command grab, and he's back. Ah, he's got the pike, he's got the extension station, and the kill. Gobo fans, man. Gobo fans on set point. Is he going to send Mugi in the losers? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. We'll go with the jump in again. Gobo fans got the knockdown. What is the schmixes? He goes with the. Uh, the oh, he goes with the dust. And again, man. Gobo fans, man. He's on fire. And he presses button exactly where Mugi. Mugi, man. Uh, exactly where Mugi goes and to try to, you know, to press buttons and to, to schnapps, as we say in French. 
Ah, uh, yeah, Mugi sound looks very, very freaking uh, very lost right there. Okay, this might be the end. Very nice block though from Mugi. Oh, Lord, and Mugi is eliminated. No, not eliminated. Sent to the loser's bracket. That's a huge upset, Red. Okay, and here we go with the <laughs> second semifinals match. It's going to be none other than Takani versus Kohide. Both players are absolute monsters and absolute masters of their respective characters. Uh, there has been a slight... Um, a, a slight advantage to Takarin usually when they fight against each other. But that being said, I do believe that Kohide managed to overcome uh, this curse, uh, quote unquote, uh, especially during the last Brojo Cup where he managed to eliminate Takarin out of the, the, the tournament. So let's see if he can keep it up. And this is looking actually pretty good for Kohide so far. He's got the first round. Let's see if he can get the second as well. Here we go, immediate start around the 2P into the snail by Takarin. Okay, no entire right there. Here we go with the ooh, kick flip. Very nice block by Takarin, man. This dude has a crazy good, uh, crazy good defense. Ooh, ah, and here we go with the jump in. Catches the back dash attempts by Takarin. We go with Kohide using the uh, spiral arrow to extend the pressure. He tried to jump out in order, yeah, not to get hit by an entire. Oh, here we go with the jump in. He goes for the quick dust and just like this, this is going to be a wall break. Good stuff from Kohide. is going to get the positive bonus. Here you go, jump in. Unfortunately, nobody's home. L and D grab for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes it. Takes the first match extremely convincingly. Like, I yeah, uh, Takain wasn't quite there, if I might say. Anyways, here we go on to the second match. Very nice to K two D. Unfortunately, they didn't believe in it, and Kohide was uh, able to uh, block this the uh, follow up two D. Gets the counter hit with the HS, immediately forces Takani to pop the burst, and vice versa. Oh, and here we go, the Sickle Storm follow-up made it so that Kohide could try to punish it, but it went straight into the uh, the storm of uh, Takani. And the punish, uh, the end up, uh, the friggin' conversion station right there from Takani gets uh, with three uh, Axel Bomber in the row to get the kill. Very nice whiff punish right there. From Kohide gets the jump in. Oh lord, and he went from the tra Travao. Oh lord, that in and out from Kohide. He kind of caught Takarin off guard because he wasn't quite sure whether he was gonna get he was uh, he was uh, like in front or behind and unfortunately got open because of it. And Kohide man making a very big statement right there. Okay, you took one round off of me. I'm gonna take a perfect off of you. Here we go with the jump in. By Kohide gets the empty uh, jump grab. Okay, no one's home. Ah, very nice big punish right there from the rainwater. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, man. Oh, and forces Takani to pop the burst again. A little bit too early on the uh, Nasante. That being said, here we go with the new combos from Axel. Axel has all the sauce. Goes for the fake cross up. Here we go with Kohide using the overdrive to uh, get back some momentum. And uh, Takani baiting that gold burst, man. Knowing the tendencies from. Kohide, but missed time. The command grabs for the extension, man. And Kohide using the kickflip into the RC to keep the momentum. He's got Takani right in the corner where he wants and manages to get the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. Up 2 to 0, man. This is going very quick. Yeah, man. Kohide is not afraid of Axel anymore for some reason. Well, not afraid of uh, of uh, Takani anymore, that being said. And here we go on again with Kohide in the whip punishes. He's got Takani in the corner. Takani pressing some buttons to try to get out of it. Goes for the kickflip. He's going to go with the newly found uh, uh, Giovanna extension combos, which makes it so that she gets a uh, uh, side switch. Thanks to the buffs that were uh, given to her on her, I do believe it's her 2HS. That being said, here we go with Takarin getting some extension of his own with the rainwater. He gets the wall, the, the Axel Bomber in the corner. Definitely looking good, and here we go, man, with, G with uh, Kohide and the uh, Nasante Quake Roman Cancel into an overhead right away, man. That definitely caught Takarin off guard, and Takarin in the corner, man. Has to oh, Lord, he goes for the Rainwater and successfully baits Kohide to uh, press <laughs> a button. Thank you very much for the follow, King Rex, and welcome to the bro, bro. And here we go again with the overdrive and Takani not committing to blocking after blocking it though. This is really unfortunate. We go to the Nasante wall break. 
Oh, he did on set point, by the way. If he gets this one, he's going to send Takarin in the corner. Uh, and he goes for the quick dash for the kill. And Kohide takes it a clean 3-0. That was per se in, uh, in Japanese tournaments. So there are big chances that you might actually end up like fighting a, a huge player right off the bat. Okay, and that being said, here we go with the start of the match. Corona Fighter against Caffeine. Oh, very nice checks right there from Corona Fighter. Getting rid of the minions right away. But Caffeine finds the opening, immediately forces the burst upon Corona Fighter. Ah, Corona Fighter using a little bit too far for the uh, cannon drill. And Caffeine manages to 6p him right into the corner exactly where he wants him. Has to give him a little bit of real estate right there to, yeah, to try to set up his minions. And again, and you can see, man, Corona Fighter making good use of his neutral in order to get rid of the minions. No, oh, Lord, and that back dash into 6 HS, and just like this, Caffeine is going to take it with the overdrive follow-up. Very nicely done. Clean, 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 clean. I hope you don't get Jackal round one. That would be fun, especially Japanese. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Japanese Jackals are the... are, like, the... The type of characters you definitely, the type of players you definitely don't want to fight right off the bat. And very nice use of the dash forward with the uh, far S right there from Corona Fighter. Catches the back dash attempts from Caffeine. Here we go with the tick pressure. And Caffeine let it rip. Fortunately, he's gonna get, yeah, he's gonna get adequately punished by Corona Fighter. He's going to push Caffeine in the corner. Caffeine back dashing a wee bit too much. Oh, and the 2D counter hit, man. Uh, Caffeine again gets scooped by the 2K 2D. And the OTG... Uh, the OTG... Um, what's it called? <laughs> the OTG pressure. That being said, here we go. Caffeine managed to take it with the Illusion Driver. Good stuff from Caffeine. Takes the first match. Let's see if uh, Corona Fighter can make a comeback. We shall see. It's definitely not over till it's over. Oh, here we go with the minion. Minion right in front of Corona. Unfortunately, he gets way punished with the 2k2 D. And finally, Corona forced to pop the burst. Ah, Lord and Caffeine manages to put a couple more minions on the stage. And oh, I almost got the corner, the uh, the side switch. Unfortunately, he dropped the combo. A little bit too far for it, I suppose. Very nice grab right there from Caffeine. No bar to get the extension for the kill, but gets it. Regardless, the kill that is with a perfect, by the way. Big statement right there from Gaffey. Let's see how this pans out. Getting one home. No punish on the whiffed to uh, far, far S. Here we go. 2S. Ah, and the jump in. Man, finally, Corona Fighter manages to hit his target. Forces Caffeine to pop the burst. Ah, very nice 6P right there. Even gets the corner. Uh, even gets the side switch very nicely done by Caffeine. Unfortunately, gets jumped on by Corona Fighter. He gets the extension station. Look at that damage, man. Holy freaking lord. My lord. Ah, very nice back dash right there from Caffeine. Oh, and he is going to get hit. No, he's not. Ugh, and the grab. That was so... Oh. <laughs> and the double grab right there from Corona Fighter for the kill. Let's see how this spins out. Again with the uh, dash forward into the uh, far slash. That was pretty nice. Definitely not gonna lie. That was fire, man. Oh, and again with the jump in. Again the jump in, man. And Corona definitely not letting up. Finally, Caffin gets the 2K into the 2D. Forces Corona Fighter to pop the YRC. Unfortunately for Corona, he probably mistimed his meteor or whatnot and got grabbed by Caffeine in the process. He's going to get wall broken through an illusion driver. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill or stop, but Caffeine will get the uh, hard knockdown. Oh, decides to put a minion, and this is probably going to be dead. Yeah, this is dead. You're dead. Yeah, this is over. It's over. It's over. Bye bye. Yeah. It was checkmate right there. Winning condition. Indeed. Good stuff from Caffeine gets the kill. That pressure was godlike. Yes, this is one thing you definitely do not want to be is cornered by Jacko, who has a Two minions on the uh, right in front of you, plus one bar of tension. Good stuff from Caffeine, that being said. Thank you very much for the follow, Umberto Pissa, and welcome to the bro drop. Okay, here we go with Caffeine trying to get out of the corner ever so slightly. Manages to do so. Still didn't check the uh, jump-ins from Corona Fighter. Nope, no jump-in this time around. And Corona Fighter being a lot more patient this time around. 
wants to be really diligent in his uh, in his minion kills. Okay, here we go. I think Caffeine is going to get the wall in the, the corner. He is, and here he goes for the quick dust for the kill. Just like this, Caffeine has match point right in his hand. This is set point, actually. Let's see if Corona Fighter manages to uh, shift, get a shift of momentum. Definitely needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. The player who loses this one is going to get uh, eliminated from the tournament. No 6p. There we go, the tick pressure. Oh, Lord. Uh, the pressure is real and caffeine yeah hesitant to throw their minions in because corona has been so diligent when it came to just get getting rid of them okay here we go he gets the back dash tried to bait the burst forces the burst finally oh lord and very nice use of the guard point right there from caffeine punishes the uh actually uh blocks the 6p attempts from corona no one's home for caffeine this is unfortunate yeah, the, uh, oh, and that backdash, this is going to be the death. Yeah, this is death. Good. Very nice backdash from Caffeine. Gets the 6HS counter hit into 6HS into the Illusion. Uh, driver, good stuff against each other. Uh, Nikojiru ends up winning. So, we'll, but we'll see, we'll see. We, we never know. Like, uh, I mean, recently, Kohide has also been winning against Takarin, and it wasn't the case until recently. So, we never know, we never know. We will see. We go start of the round, Kibari immediately gets scooped by the 2K. The 2D, I'm sorry. Here we go, the slider head and stay out on point with the jump ins, man. Again with the jump in. No, you cannot throw that slider head just ra randomly, man. It's not possible. Not against Stella. Sell on point with the punishes. Ah, try to hit it with the uh, far S. You pot changes. Let's hope it makes it him not bottom tier. Yeah, I still think he's bottom tier, though. It, it wasn't enough. Very nice XP right there. Uses the newly found buffs on the uh, heat knuckle to uh, keep Stella close by. With the tatami guy, she oh, and the big six speed. This is gonna do a lot of damage. It is going to heal with the RC extension. And here we go with Nikoji going with a double heat knuckle for the kill. Good stuff from Nikoji. Takes the first round. It is still not going to be able to bring it back. We shall see. We shall see. Ooh, that forest though in your face. Here we go, the slider head. Very nice block from Stella. And that just defend man from Nikoji. Hesitated. To uh, actually pop the uh, the the pot buster, actually. Oh, and again with the six p, you cannot jump on this man. You cannot jump on Nikos Yudo man. But still, I uh, resorting to using. Oh, damn! That is a crunchy uh, uh, Yozan Sen combo right there. Oh, good stuff from Nikos Yudo. Okay, here we go with Nikos Yudo. Gets the. Oh no! Gets hit by the Kibari. Okay, very nice use of the RC2. Make it safe, unfortunately. Gets still jumped on by Nikoji. And Nikoji using the RC himself to surprise uh, with a very, very nicely placed the Potemkin Buster. Great stuff from Nikoji. Thanks for the follow. Why is the magic book? And welcome to the bro jump. If Potemkin ever becomes good, I see Buster's damage getting whittled away. Yeah, it's definitely possible. But as he is now, it's I think it's really hard for him to win any major or very big tournament. Okay, here we go, the jump in by still against the extension station combo. He's gonna get the wall break. Boom! Here we go with the positive bonus from Stilla. Oh, okay, very nice jump. And he goes for the repetitive jumping. P P P P P P. Forces Nikoji to pop the burst. And here we go with the hammer fall. Blocked by Stilla. Very nice use of the um the what's it called the Mega Fist against Stilla using the uh p p p p p to oh my lord here we go with the shiragi and he didn't get the kill but still goes for 2k 2k for the kill good stuff by still i really thought he wasn't gonna get it okay and on to the next battle no wind tires right there from nikojiru still okay a very nice use a very nice uh, neutral of nikojiru this is the most surprising thing he get, oh unfortunate for still a badly time jump in he gets grabbed but that being said he reads the uh, the what's it called the uh, Potemkin uh, uh, Buster attempt from Nikojiro. He did corner himself though. You gotta be careful not to yeah be too quick on your attempts to jump. Try to go, go for a Shiragi, but a little bit too early on it and get scooped by it. This is so unfortunately so unfortunate. Here we go the Mega Fist to close the distance and Nikojiro with the quick dust for the kill. Here we go. If not going Ram or still top tier, then Pot in top 8 will be rare. Indeed, indeed, yeah. can definitely understand the, the reasoning behind this. Uh, but yeah, it's just um, 
I think it's just uh, archetype. Yeah, it's just the way the game plays. Like, I feel like uh, Potemkin can either be low tier or top tier. There's no in between with this character archetype. And for now, there, I think that Arxis is really being extremely, extremely um, uh, careful with their buffs of Potemkin because they don't want him to be too busted. Because yeah, they're they're going you know one one step at a time, and the only downside is that well in the end pot remains low tier because he doesn't get that much changes all the time. Oh, okay, here we go the gold burst man. Oh, and the overdrive for the kill. Good stuff from Stella manages to put one on the board. Good stuff. Good good stuff, man. Too bustered. Exactly. Not exactly, man. And they're probably they're probably uh, afraid of uh, doing the same mistake as they did in XR. From in my understanding, like in XR, he was extremely ah plus R. I'm sorry. Yeah, pot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They were afraid of uh, pot from plus R. They didn't want they didn't want another plus R incident. That being said, here we go with Nikoji doing a very good job of just you know playing neutral right there. He tried to bait the burst from Stella. Unfortunately, Stella yeah probably gave up on his burst and. Nikojiro with the perfect, the big statement right there, man. You took one round off of me, you took one match off of me, I'm gonna take the entire rest of the rounds off of you with a perfect... Oh, here you go with the Yuzan Sen, man, forces Nikojiro to pop the burst. Oh no, no one's home with the butt slam. Very nice cover right there from Stella. Goes for the cross up Yuzan Sen. Is he gonna get the kill? Mikan does have a huge damage output, so it should be okay. Good stuff from Stilla gets the extension station with the kill. Okay, on to final round. The one who takes this one is definitely will definitely be in prime position to uh, take the rest. Okay, here we go with the setups from Stilla. Oh, he gets the air to air counter. This is going to do a lot of damage, unfortunately for him. His Kabari whittled out before he could get the rest of his combo. Okay, here we go with the follow up of the Kabari, and again with the Mega Fist, man. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Garuda Impact and the Hiragi, man. You didn't, you cannot. Yeah, this is probably... Oh, no. He's got the gold. Oh, no. And he went for the... He went for the Potemkin Buster, man. Ah, uh, this is death, actually. Damn. Just like this, man. All you needed is one gold burst, man. And Nikoji takes the lead. Two to one. What? You don't like being defeated in three moves? No, absolutely not. Uh, I, I do believe that in... Uh, in Strive, Nicol uh, Pot can probably kill you in two uh, in two reads, I think. Given if, if it's the correct, uh, you know, the correct uh, what's it called the correct uh, circumstances. I'm pretty sure he can kill you in two in two good reads. Oh lord! Look at oh no! A little bit early on the Hiragi. No punish, and again the punish this time around on the Hammerfall. Good stuff from Stira. Oh, okay, here we go with the Mega Fist, and again the Karuda Impact. Oh, the big root impact on hit. And still, I get scooped by the... Did he just teabag? Yeah, he teabag. That was definitely a teabag. That was definitely a teabag. Nikojiro-san, be nice. That being said, here we go. Very nice XP right there from... Uh, from Nikojiro. He's gonna get the heat knuckle. And the uh, slider head for the uh, pressure. And he's got the Potemkin Buster. Again with the Garuda Impact, and here we go with the take pressure for the kill. Good stuff from Nikojito, takes it a clean three. Rocking actual against Caffeine, rocking that sweet, sweet, sweet Jacko. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, this is going to be an uphill battle probably for uh, Caffeine, but we, we have to believe. We need to believe. Again, here we go with the uh, immediate follow-up of the Rainwater to pin Caffeine on the ground. Again, here we go with the Rainwater once again. He tries to bait Tex in order to get extension combos with the Rainwater. And here we go with Takani. Making a good job of just getting rid of the... Uh, what's it called? Of the Dominion. A very nice air right there from Takarin. He's got the instant overhead RC with the extension for the kill. And first round goes to Takarin. Good stuff. Okay, back to the neutral. Very nice jump in right there from Takarin. Couldn't quite get any extension due to the angle. And here we go with the sickle storm. You have to hold it. 
Very nice 2S counter hit right there. My favorite MH monster. Oh, really? That's great to hear. Caffeine got to use the minion Mordor attack. Exactly. Yeah, the newly found buffs. And the Axel Buff uh, Buffon. <laughs> the Axel the Axel Bomber for the kill. Good stuff. From Taklain takes the first the first match. <laughs> the Axel Buffon. Anyways, good stuff. Good stuff from Taklain. He gets the first match very convincingly. <laughs> Be right back, no problem. Fung Jade, no problem. Okay, here we go. The take pressure from Caffeine. Pushing Taklain ever so slightly in the corner. Taklain has been eating a lot of Jacko today. Mm. <laughs> and here we go with the pressure, man. But Takani finding the good opportune moments to actually press buttons. Uh, here we go with the trade on the six, not the, not the trade, but the clash on the six speed. That was quite uh, strange. And here we go with the sickle storm. Uh, Caffeine manages to jump in, and Takani not afraid to just dash forward and press buttons, even on block. And he's got the oh lord! Here we go with the new combos. Good thing from Stuck. I didn't even manage to get the, the burst, but couldn't quite punish accordingly. This is so unfortunate. Here we go to Sickle Storm. Is blocked against blocked a second time. Very nice block right there from Cappy. Not, but still got hit, unfortunately, by the 2HS. Okay. Here we go with the clear advantage for Takarin. Cappy trying to put some distance in order to set her minions, but yeah, Takarin definitely not wanting that. Almost got the new combo routes right there from Axel. Here we go with the whiff. Uh, snail, unfortunately, nobody's home. Okay, ah, Takani still got hit by one minion. Got grabbed this time around. Good caffeine with these setups. Very nice grab. Oh, Lord. Forces Takani to pop the wire C. Caffeine pops the wire C himself. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the, uh, uh, the, the confirms right there. And here we go, Dodge. Oh no, the jump in, uh, the air to air in favor of Takarin. Just need one hit, really. Well, both both players actually. Well, ooh, oh lord, very nice blocks right there from Caffeine. That was sick, but still gets hit by the standing P from Takarin. And Takarin takes the lead, very like even take not only takes the lead but deepens it. A big two to zero right there from Caffeine. Caffeine needs to find some new strats right there if she wants to make a comeback very nice cross up right there from caffeine jumps in again catches the back dash attempt from takari uh, yeah, from takari go here we go with the uh entire from caffeine ah and takari not afraid to uh, to just uh dash forward and press the 2s to punish the to punish the minion attempts from Ka caffeine Okay, Caffeine finally... Oh, and gets hit by the jump in 2HS. Uh, the jumping HS. Oh, and gets scooped by the command grab. And just like this, Akarin is on match. A set point. Let's see if Caffeine can make a comeback. This is going to be pretty hard. Not going to lie. Very nice follow-up right there after the 2D counter hit. He manages to... Oh, press 6 speed, but gets... Oh, gets grabbed and no... No, the burst has been baited and death has been delivered. Good stuff from Takarin. And yeah, Nikojiro-san, you're in the wrong corner. Okay, so they both are in the wrong corner. So on the left, you have Nikojiro and on the right, you have Mugi. Uh, just one second. Let me real quick change their name. <laughs> Sorry. You just do this. Hacho. Okay, here we go with Nikojiro immediately getting <laughs> the kill with Hacho Fugetsu. What? Mugi rocking? What? Mugi rocking to Ivana? What is this? What does it mean? Oh, I hate Ultra Platinum Ring. Oh, that's nice. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Oh my lord, an immediate gold burst right there from Nikojiro, man. Both are just duking it out, man. It's crazy. Mugi finally popped in the burst. Ah, I guess it by the overhead. Oh, unfortunately, that was a miss time. Follow up by Nikojiro. Okay, here we go with the blocked overhead. Very nicely done by Nikojiro. Yeah, probably not. Ah, that might explain it. And here we go with the kill by Mugi, man. Good stuff. Gets the kill, even with the guts of Anji. Yeah, I can understand why it's, it might not be fun for, for Nago. Okay, and here we go with the... Oh, the Ko! Unfortunately, no one was swung for Nikojiro. This is unfortunate. 
And Mugi ah, gets go by the, uh, I believe it's the 4 HS. And here we go with the Nagia, not punished this time by Mugi again with the overhead, man. And again with the overhead, but Mugi is on point. You are not gonna hit this man. I tried to go for a grab, but Nikoji was aware of it. Tried to probably uh, bait the reversal, but. Oh lord, and look at the damage. Well, it's, it's decent damage, it's okay. Okay, here we go back to the neutral and Mugi using the uh, the cannon drill. Again, uh, no one is home on the dance. I smell the uh, if he gets... Oh no, he tried to go for a girl gold burst and just like this, lost the round. Very nicely done, Mani Kojiro. I find that very hard to believe. I played neither one of them, so I... I, I no comment for me. So... Uh, I, I really don't know. Uh, so, Nago versus Andre. Yeah, I really don't know. Especially with the recent buffs of Andre, I really don't know actually. But but I'll I'll let you guys uh, discuss about it. I'm definitely one for. Uh, I definitely invite everybody to discuss whatever uh, their opinions on whichever matchup might be. It's always fun to see, you know, various different opinions on the matter. But welcome uh, KSI to uh, to the to the chat. That being said, here we go in Mugi Pop. <laughs> Rocking Leo this time around. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, and this time around, Mugi gets scooped by the dance of Nikojiro. Forces Nikojiro to also pop the burst. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, in the close S to catch the back dash attempt from Mugi. Nikojiro grabbing. Oh, Lord, and no, Mugi just committing to the to the DP, man. It's not been working for him so far. <coughs> Nikojiro trying to... Oh, yeah, to bait the DP, I sense. And here we go with the RC extension for the kill. Nico Zero on prime position to take the second match as well. <coughs> Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the Fujin for the hit. Et du coup, c'est un tournoi cross platform. Ouais, en effet. Uh, là, les deux ils sont sur skin par contre. <coughs> Nago really can play as neutral against Andy. Okay, and here we go with the guard point extension. Mugi trying to get this one. He's going to get the wall. Ah, oh, he almost got the wall break. That being said, ah, oh, Nikojiro fighting for his life out of the corner. C'est pas mal, on a vu, c'est cool. Hein? Okay, here we go. No, wake up DP. Finally got the wake up DP, and Nikojiro on point with the grabs. Um, a little one too many DPs right there, probably. But that being said, Mugi managed to take it, take the second round. That was very nicely done. <clears throat> oh lord, and the run up, man. Run up just press 4S. Well, I think it gets hit by the. Uh, oh, the uh, back S. Oh, and here we go. The pressure is real. Ah, oh, gets hit again by the far S, man. It's been working very much in his favor for this. We're going to take pressure from Mugi. He gets these bite. Gets the grab. Ah, tries to go for the overhead. Gets the wake up. Ah, and gets hit by the Kacho. Oh, Ooh, yes. Good stuff from Nikos, you know, on prime position to actually take it again with the forest, man. It's been working very nice. In his favor, he gets scooped by DDP, though. And here we go with the... Oh, no, and that back dash from, from Nikos, you man. Oh, no, one too many DPs and you're gonna die. Oh, no, he drops it. He drops it. You hit to see it. If you lose it, this is really... <gasps> and gets hit by the forest. Good stuff from Nikos, you gets the lead with 2-0. Is Mugi going to change characters? If he doesn't, like, it, this is his only... His only chance to go back to Nagore, right there is right now. He doesn't have another chance. If he commits to uh, Leo, he would have to keep Leo until the end of, uh, of this set. So probably he's going to swap for Goryuki right now, I, I suspect. That would make sense. And he does, here we go. Popping the Nagoriyuki. Let's see if Nikojiru can actually <laughs> take it with the Nag against the Nagoriyuki. We shall see. We shall see, we shall see. So, start of the round, and immediately Fujin from Nikojiro. Okay, no follow up from Nikojiro, and Mugi noticed it. Use this opportunity to press a button and punish <laughs> Nikojiro. Okay, finally, Mugi pops the burst, uses the clone. Ah, uh, and Nikojiro recognizing the gaps in the pressure of Mugi. <laughs> Mugi needs to, yeah, block right there. Ah, gets hit by the far S counter hit. And Nikojiro, man, looking very good. Is he probably gonna get hit by the... Yes, he is. Lucky. Uh, not lucky, but very nice awareness right there from um, Mugi. Oh, and gets hit by the forest yet again. And just like this, Nikojiro is gonna take it. 
Okay, that is actually very surprising, man. Mugi is a Nagoriyuki player, very strong uh, opponent. He got uh, top 8 at Arc Revolt. So he's definitely no slouch, man. Mugi changes to Nago again. Yeah, yeah, every time. Every time. If he loses, obviously he's gonna go back to his main. And uh, yeah, so uh, no, Mugi is a very strong player. He got top 8 at Arc Revolt Japan. So definitely do not, uh, do not count him out. He, it wouldn't even surprise me if he gets to come back right now. Right now we're on set point. It wouldn't surprise me if Mugi wins every single thing, every single match from now on. But we'll see, we'll see. He goes for the 6P. Here we go with the 4S, HS, I'm sorry. Here we go, the jump in. Good stuff from Mugi. Couldn't quite get the uh, follow up due to uh, height, to the height that he popped the uh, the HS, the jumping HS. We threw with other characters. Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Yeah, he's just having fun, I, I guess. Not really playing like try hard right now, just playing with his good friend, and they're both trying like, you know, different characters. Ah, Lloyd, here we go, the jump in. Mugi pops the burst. Oh, and again with the jump, the. The run as uh, far as man has been working so good for Nico Zero. Here we go with oh good stuff from Mugi. Okay, I was afraid that he was gonna catch up who gets it, but nope, he didn't. Here we go, the pressure, very nice back dash. He could have gotten it. Probably afraid of the catch who gets it again. Here we go with the take pressure. Okay, no one so when you're dead. Yeah, this is gonna do. And now Nico Zero probably going to pop the Potemkin, I'm pretty sure. It's probably yeah, gonna go for Potemkin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Potemkin or another like sub character, I guess. Since uh, since um, since Mugi went with a side character, there might be a chance that Nikozido goes for a side character as well. <laughs> he goes for Axel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's going for Axel. They're just like exchanging like courtesies, I guess. Good stuff. So let's see how this pans out. I love Giovanna's team, Song Trier. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I haven't seen one over it from Nico Zero. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, here we go with the start of the round this time around. Nico Zero pop like, just popping the Axel, not wanting to go with his signature Potemkin. Axel, a very good matchup against... Uh, this one I can I can vouch for. Uh, Axel, very good matchup against Nagori Yuki. Definitely a good counter pick. So not a not a bad idea for Neko Zero. Neko Zero got the uh, burst right there. Good stuff. Mugi and Dire Straits right there. But all we do know that all he needs is one hit. Once he's in, it's in. And Neko Zero with the command grab. He's got Mugi exactly where he wants him, and he's going to probably chip him to death. Got the far S for the kill. Okay, so Mugi needs to win this and the next one if he wants to stay in the, the in the tournament. If not, he will be eliminated. <laughs> Here we go, the far slash with and Nikoji on point with the anti-airs. Here's the extension with the command grab. Getting one home, close S, far S. Here we go the rainwater. Okay, again with the two uh, S, yeah, entire. Okay, here we go, the trade. Nikozidu got, almost got the extension, fortunately for him. He goes with the quick dust into RC for the kill. And just like this, Nikozidu, he kind of funny, they really seem like friends. Oh, they are, they are, they are. They, they, they're right now, they're on their own Discord, like speaking with each other. They're, they're, don't worry, they're, they're really tight. They really are tight. Him, Kohide, uh, Nikozidu, Takarin, they're, they're all four very good friends. They keep counter picking. Yeah, 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 they do. But probably yeah, out of the, the this group there, like uh, Mugi and Nikozidu are probably the, the the tightest of all. Yeah. Okay, here we go with a very quick burst right there from Global fans and Kohide with the ins and outs. I ah, almost got the oh, oh the, uh, the the aerial overdrive. Very nice stick pressure right there from Kohide. Got rid of Eddie, but Eddie is back. Here we go. Oh Lord, and he got rid of Eddie once again. Yeah, the speed of Giovanna is definitely going to be problematic for Global fans to try to uh, force this game in. Okay, oh, and here we go, the raw Nasante counter hit. And the extension combo for the kill. Good stuff from Kohida gets the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go, the 2k 2d. He's got the knockdown, and Kohida forces. Gobo in the corner ever so slightly. He's got the opening. Oh, almost got the juggle. <laughs> Lord, just... Run up straight, press K. No, press P, that was crazy good. Here we go with the quick dust. He probably, no, no baits of the burst. Finally, Gobo, well, is forced to pop the burst. 
Okay, here we go, Global Fence. Looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. No 6P on the Cannon Drill. This is gonna kill with the Overdrive for the Overkill. Good stuff for Kohide. Puts one on the board. Let's see if Gobo uh, fans manages to bring it back. We shall see. It's definitely, you know, I was a little bit one sided, not gonna lie, but uh, yeah. Well, Gobo fans managed to win against Mugi, so it's not impossible. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, good pressure right there from Kohide. He went for the Nasante, but Gobo fans was. Uh, was patient enough, he didn't get hit by... Oh, very nice punish right there. I didn't know you could punish her uh, if you blocked. And you grabbed her. Now, now this is something good to know. Okay, and here we go with the tick pressure right there from Kohide. <laughs> very nice. Uh, a bar right there from Global Fans. Got the PPP uh, into the Roman Cancel. Things are looking a lot better from Global Fans now. Oh, almost got the punish right there. Well, unfortunately, you couldn't recognize that the, uh, what's it called, the um, uh, cannon drill was out. Could have 6-speed it. Okay, here we go. Ah, Kohide just running straight into the 2S. Very nice side switch, and Gobofan's gonna take it with Among Us. The boom, good stuff from Gobofan. Thank you very much for the uh, follow, Polite Toe Bugs, and welcome to the bro, Joe. And here we go with the... Uh, Return to the uh, the neutral. Kohide managed to get a 6P in. Forest Gobo fans in the corner. Nice backdash right there from Kohide. Doesn't want to deal with the pressure. From Gobo fans, he get a huge 2D counter hit with the extension combo. Look at the damage. Kohide not using the tension to get and secure a hard knockdown. That being said, it's okay. We're going with the dash. Ah, he tried to be the burst, but good patience from Gobo fans. Not gonna lie, gets landed on though. Still no burst. And gets hit by the uh, Sepultura, was it? Or Traval? I always mix them. I think it's Traval. No, it's Sepultura. Sepultura, I think. Traval is the uh, the kickflip, I think. Maybe. I need to recheck re the, the names. Maybe it's saying here we go with the quick burst. Goes low this time around. Okay, and yeah. Ah, uh, going to ask to deal with the pressure. Oh, get okay, this time we're gonna go for a fake uh, low. Oh, and just like this, Gobo fans. Oh no, he couldn't quite get it because he didn't have any bar. That being said, uh, things are looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Ah, here we go with the overdrive. Gets rid of Eddie. Oh, and Koide getting a little bit too greedy. Gobo puts one on the board as well, man. Gobo staying alive. Good stuff from Gobo fans, man. Fantastic player, man. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. The immediate counter hit right there from uh, for in favor of Kohide. Go, go, Renka. Ah, this is Lenka. Okay, okay. Ah, that's the reason why he's good. Okay, okay. I get it. Okay, so this is Lenka. I wasn't aware. Yeah, Lenka, very strong Indonesian. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Zato player. Extremely strong, proficient. Uh, oh, I almost got the side switch and Kohide just like this is gonna get the overdrive. This is death. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Kohide gets the kill. Kohide on the verge of taking this third match. We shall see. Okay, here we go. No 6P home. A very nice forest right there from Global Fans. Again, you can see Kohide using a lot of the cannon drill right there to get rid of of the uh the what's called the eddy pressure nice follow up right there and chase from kohide using this on take hits gobo out of the air ah and here we go with kohide using the quick dust into rc for the wall break again with the 6p and he got the burst and this is going to be the kill good stuff from kohide puts one on the board takes the lead actually two to one is Renka going to enter in equal fashion? And here we go, the gold, gold burst, I'm sorry. The gold burst, wake up, man. Again with the quick dust, man. Koide definitely feeling himself. He's gonna get the wall break. Here we go, positive bonus. Okay, and here we go. Finally, Renka getting some... Oh, no, and the wake up reversal from Kohide. Go, Kohide doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. He smells the victory. He wants to send Gobo in the losers, man. 
Boy, I'm gonna be studying these replays here. Yeah, definitely do so, man. We have a lot of very good players here. So uh, it's always a good thing. I always upload the VODs like one or two days after. So you can just uh, check the VODs on my YouTube channel, which you can find over here. I have all of the uh, VODs. Uh, I have them stamped. Uh, I have them timestamped with the name of the of the players. So you can just, you know, click on them with the name of the characters as well. So it's very easy for everybody to just check the, the VODs out and see which match they want to study and everything. So I encourage you to just follow my channel and uh, you'll you'll get updated as soon as I upload the VOD tomorrow or the following day. Anyways, here we go with the pressure from Gobo fans. Oh no! And she went for the command grab, but nobody was home. And just like this goes, this is grabber. You love to see it. These two definitely don't go for their <laughs> for their secondaries, just straight up to their main. So let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> I do believe last time uh, these two fought against each other. Takarin took it rather convincingly. So let's see if uh, Nikoju can take it this time around. Very nice slider head got Takarin on. Uh, on the ground, that being said, Takani was forced to pop the burst. Very nice 6 into the heat knuckle. It was gonna be the Oki. Okay. Here go the, Karu the Garuda impact. Oh, got the back dash. Nice confirm. Garuda impact with the midi. You have to take the second one. Again, Garuda impact, man. Again, man. And just like this. Nikos, you're gonna take it. Take the first round. That is very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the grab by Takani, man. Uh, let me... I don't like this song. <laughs> I want to hear another one. Okay, and here we go with the extension station from Nikojiro. Look at the damage, man. If if Takani gets open a second time, this is probably going to be death. Oh, Lord! And the jump out from Takani, man. Oh, no one so on the... Heat on the on the on the Mega Fist. Flake being faster is curse confirm. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Oh Lord! Oh, and he got the burst bait, and just like this, Nicholas Yuta steals it, man. Good stuff from Nicholas Yuta takes the lead one to zero. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff from Nicholas Yuta. Oh, again, here we go. Takani probably not happy about this. And because you're just a little bit shy to take uh, the initiative. Already cornered. Oh, again, here we go. The big 2H counter hit, man. That did a lot of damage. I think a little bit uh, probably wary of uh, of the bursts. Here we go. Yeah, you can see Takarin being extremely... He doesn't want to get scooped by like either the... Either the um, Hammerfall or the... Uh, the um, oh, I forgot the name. The ground pound. Okay, and here we go. Takani takes the first round of this uh, of this match. Here we go with the slider head, man. Oh, very nice conversion from Takani. Gets the knockdown and the sickle storm. Ah, uh, he gets it by the slider head. You hate to see it. Very nice flake. Uh, gets the knockdown. Oh lord, and the mega fist, man. Get back to neutral. Slider head, it is. Oh lord! So Takani punishes the recovery on the hammerfall. Slider head again. He definitely wants that knockdown. And finally, Nikoji finds the opportunity. No! Gets hit by the 2HS. Downer it. Uh, 2HS. Yeah, entire. Ah, and very nice awareness from Takani to use the RC to. Punish the backdash attempt from Nicholas Yuta. That was a very nice punish. And just like this, Takani puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and here we go with... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, this is... And here we go with the Garuda impact. Forces Takani to pop the burst. Again, Garuda impact. Oh, 
Okay, sorry for the wait. Uh, oh my lordy me, it RC right there from Takani. Again with the slider head, unfortunately the slider head could only tank one hit of super armor. And was immediately hit by the follow-up, uh, which was I do believe 2HS. Very nice whiff punish right there from... T oh no, you hate to see it! And just like this, Nikoji, you're gonna take the first round of this third match. Good stuff from Nikoji. Okay, both players extremely patient, man. Oh no, and gets good by the command grab. You're not the only grappler here. What's Emkin? Again with the cider head. Okay, he got uh, Takarin on his way down from the jump. And here we go with the. <laughs> With the Rasido, the BGM. I love this BGM. The Mega Fist. Yeah, Takarin still not ah, letting up, man. Takarin's defense is really pristine. Ah, but here we go with the counter hit, the jumping counter hit. This. Guy. Oh, oh no, 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 sir. And just like this, man, because you're gonna steal it. Holy freaking lord! On a very, very unfortunate burst right there from Takani. That was so unfortunate. That was the so last uh, round, uh, the last match of this set. So let's see. Okay, yeah, we had a connection error, so I, I needed to disband the, the, the room. Here we go with the slider head, man, and the very slick use of slider head by Nikozito. Ooh, I almost got hit by the uh, command grab right there from Takani. Here we go with the sickle, the sickle storm. Oh! Here we go. The, oh no, 6 speed. No, sir. Both opponents super aware of uh, both of their options, man. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Lord, here we go. The far ace, man. Uh, the jumping ace, man. The bane of every single Potemkin player, I'm, I'm sure. And just like this, man. Akarin takes it with the standing P. Oh, a big 2S anti air right there from Takani. Couldn't quite get any extension though, but he's got the court, the position at least. And again, man, yeah, two hits, two hits. This is very, very, oh, very one-sided round, not gonna lie. Here we go with Takani and the extension combo. He's gonna get Axel Bomber again. Or not, I like. Here we go with oh, the run up grab, but Nikoji is definitely on point. He goes for the uh, command grab on wake up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! And again, he's gonna take it, man. Holy freaking lord, Nikoji the thief. This is his real name, man. Nikoji the thief. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy, man. Okay, and here we go. All he needs is one hit, man. All you need is one hit. But yeah, the, the reads on Nikojiro has been... Not, not to take anything away from him, like... The, the, the reads on Nikojiro has been crazy good, man. That was robbery, it was, but it was so good. I'm not gonna lie. Good lord, man. That was crazy. Here we go with the Mega Fist. Yeah. Yeah, Nikojiro just need one hit, man. One hit. Oh! Oh, my way! Oh, oh! Ah, this is bad news. Okay, just one. Just one. Oh. Put them in OP. <laughs> oh. No, one again, man. Are we gonna see it again? Are we gonna see it again? Oh. No. <laughs> I wanted to see it again. I wanted to see it so much, man. Oh, that was. Oh, shit. That would have been awesome, though, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we take these. We take these. That was funny. That was funny. Uh oh, oh, that was a bad air grab right there from Nikoji. You know, unfortunately, you got entire. Here we go, and again the slider head, man. Get it too because slider head only has one hit of armor. Unfortunately, well, fortunately for us, unfortunately for Pawn Jim. Ah, very nice awareness right there from Takani and scoops. Nikoji out of the air with the two S. And again with the Hammerfall, it's been the bane of Takarin, man. The Hammerfall has been the bane of Takarin. Oh, and the Mega Fist meant to go over the two SHS attempt. Oh, oh, and he forces the burst. It's not over. It's not over. Takarin has to. Oh, no. 
Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, very nice decision making right there from Takani. He uses the, the world to prevent uh, Nikozir from having an opportunity to burst. Okay, here with the jump in. This is set point, potential last chance for Nikozir to make a comeback. And here we go, yeah, back to Sickle Storm, man. Oh lord, that is really bad for, for Takari. This is really bad. He gets the midi Garuda impact, tries to go for the low, and catch them pesky uh, chicken jump. Oh lord. Good stuff from Takarin, man, just keeping Nikojiro away. And Takarin just, oh lord, running, man. Yeah, this is, this is, this looks pretty bad. No, and he got baited with the 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 rainwater, man. That was crazy. Dual one. Let's rock. Okay, sorry for the wait. Oh, here we go. The rainwater. Ah, uh, tried to base the burst, but yeah, Global Fence is being extremely respective. Uses the uh, the blue RC tech right there to uh, shorten the distance between him and Takarin. That being said, yeah, Takarin on point with the anti air D6 HS to be more specific. I think it is. Oh, here we go. Gobo fans looking okay for now. It, yeah, it's, it definitely can go both ways. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with the pressure, corner pressure on Eddie out though. So that's unfortunate. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Gobo fans. Definitely wanting to take it. Oh, and Takarin, man, not afraid to just jump to run out of. The corner man, I am the number one Gobos fan fan. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm sure he's gonna be he's gonna be thrilled to hear this. That being said, here we go with the Among Us for the kill by Gobo fans, man. Doing a good job, man. So let's see how this pans out. Is Gobo fans gonna be able to take it? Very nice jump in. Ah, forces Takani to pop the burst. Oh no, you don't! Very nice use of the uh very nice use of the, uh, what's it called? Of the command grab to get rid of both Eddie and to uh, catch Gobo fans out of it as well. Oh, the very big snail right there. No punish, unfortunately, from Gobo fans, man. This is unfortunate. Here we go with the jump in. Yeah, Takani has to. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Look at the damage. And Gobo fans has the hard knockdown. This is very, looking very good for. Oh, oh, she almost got the juggle. That would have spelled death, by the way. Very nice take right there from Gobo fans, man. On point. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Oh no, you hate to see it. Okay, here we go. Gobo fans trying to reset the pressure a bit. Ah. Uh. Okay, things are looking really tight. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, that would have been dead. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. And that 6P was godlike. <laughs> Good stuff from Renka, man. Takes the first freaking the first freaking match in a very, very high fashion, by the way. Good stuff. Okay, good stuff from Renka. Oh, okay, he uses the spikes this time around to blow away the, uh, the 2P attempts from Takani to get rid of Eddie. Okay, no entires right there. Sickle Storm, no Eddie. Very nice air grab from, uh, from Takari. 
Uses again the uh, the rainwater man. He's been working a lot. Okay, here we go. Pressure. Oh, ah, good block right there from Gobo fans. Even get the uh, punish. Oh lord, that punish though. That was crazy, man. Renka out playing out of his mind, man. Good lord, that was crazy good. Okay, it's not over till it's over though. Do not count uh, Takarin out. This dude is no stranger to. He is no stranger to comebacks. Very nice 6p again from Renka. He did he won the last match using this. And things are looking really dire from Takarin. Renka going for the for the double overhead. Very nicely done. Thank you, Mineral. Much appreciated. Happy New Year from the president of gaming. <laughs> Thanks, Mineral. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. I hope that uh, Smoib, Smoib has... Uh, you've been enjoying Smoib's uh, uh, streams as well, man. And thank you very much for the subs, man. Much appreciated. Okay, and here we go with... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the wall break. And Gobo fans actually taking the lead, eh? This is crazy, man. Renka, man. Looking very, very solid. Uh, kind of got a little bit... Yeah. A little bit not desperate, but oh, and here we go the double P sending P into the world. And this is going to do a lot of damage, it might kill actually. Ah, uh, this is yeah, he's probably gonna hold to it. Yeah, I I'd hold on to it, I'd hold on to it. Yeah, yeah, that, that was it's okay. No, 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 no that, that was the correct uh, answer. I feel okay. Let's see if Renka can bring can seal the deal, man. He really just needs this one. To at least get a comfortable lead. Ah, Lord, as you can see, man. Takarin being extremely nimble, man. Hard to pin him down. Here we go with the 2k. Ah. Ah, here we go with the oppose. Forces Takarin to pop the burst. Ah, and Takarin pressing buttons, man. I miss my stream, but I'm here regardless. That's good, that's good. Thank you very much, Mineral. Much appreciated. Oh lord, and the trade, and Takarin going for the command grab, but make it, using the RC to immediately make it safe. Ah, very nice a bar right there from Takarin. He did get scooped though by the 2k 2d. Ah, here we go with the rainwater. Oh no, that would have been death. Ah, the clashes, man, the clashes of the titans. Again with the 2p, the, the standing p, man. Ah, and he got scooped. No, he couldn't quite get the kill, but it's still okay. Takarin got the follow up with the rainwater, and Takarin finally, man, through the with the skin of the, his teeth, he manages to put one on the board. Good stuff from Takarin. Good lord, like this is really hype, man. These guys are playing out of their mind. And Renka, man, really, I, I didn't know he was so good. It's crazy. Good stuff. Nice grab from Renka. Forces the burst upon Takarin. Again with the wow, the juggles, man. The juggles are real. The air combos. Ah, and here we go with Takarin going for the overheads. Ah, the double P into the uh, command grab. Didn't want to use the um, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Use the the world to punish any attempts of uh, trying to punish his snail attempt. And here we go with the Lin Sengeki and a quick first round of this third the third match for Takarin. Oh, very nice stuff from Gobo fans. He's gonna get the drill. He's gonna get the corner pressure. Goes low, goes low twice. The pressure is real. Very nice uh, button press right there from Takarin. Gets hit. Ah, oh, Lord, and got open. And he's got the command grab. This is gonna kill, actually. Yeah, good stuff from Renka with the follow up with the RC. Okay, Renka definitely not out of it. Damn, it's going back and forth. This is crazy. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, in the forest. Counter hit, man. A good first sequence from <gasps> Gobo fans. But Takarin reading the command grab attempts right there from Gobo fans. That was crazy good. Here we go. Close S again to try to entire him. No 6P. Well, no uh, means to do 6P, anyways. Okay, here we go. Ah, Lord. Oh lord, and here we go with the rainwater room code. Uh, Marisor, are you in the tournament? <laughs> okay, and here we go. Ah, uh, 
finally Takarin Sun forced to pop the burst. <clears throat> ah, unfortunately this time around he got his BRC hit out of the air by the uh, standing P. Yeah, and here we go with the sickle storm man trying to keep uh, Takarin in the corner. Uh, trying to uh, trying to get out of the corner. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Takanin was in, was on the verge of getting a negative penalty. But that being said, he was able to weather the storm and managed to take it in the end, two to one. One more match for Takanin if he wants to go into the grand finals to face against Kohide. Very nice to get to the right there. <coughs> Sickle storm. <coughs> Very nice use of the spikes right there to try to punish the punish attempts of Takanin. He's got the command grab. Eddie's gonna be back on the board. Very nice stuff from Elenka using the 2S to punish the punish attempt of Takarin. Since I missed most of the action up until now, did I miss any? No, Arik's not playing today, unfortunately. He's probably uh, celebrating the New Year's with uh, with his family or whatnot. <clears throat> so now, unfortunately, Arik is not here, so no testament to action. But it was it was a nice match, though. Nevertheless, very nice. We had a lot of very nice matches, actually. Especially Gobo's uh, match, uh, Gobo fans match. Doing a good job of uh, of representing uh, Zato today, not gonna lie. Very nice use of the Toad, he's gonna get Takarin out of the air. And here we go with the overdrive for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Oh lord man, and Takarin just waking up with 6 speed to get rid of the Toad. Ah, too bad, so sad. He's got the corner uh, pressure, but here we go with Gobo using the tech, the BRC tech to get out of the corner. Unfortunately, gets anti-aired right there, and this is gonna be the kill. Okay, so Takarin on set points. Let's see if he can take Gobo out of the tournament. We shall see. Very nice just defend right there. He better be a good Zato with a name like that. <laughs> can't go embarrassed. No, he's really, really good. Extremely good. I'm not gonna lie. Well, he did uh, manage to send Mugi in the loser bracket, so yeah, he's very strong. Very nice air grab right there from Takarin on the point of getting a wall break. Ah, and again with the BRC tech, he couldn't quite get the follow-up though. He did get the yellow Roman cancel though, the golden burst. I'm sorry, what am I talking about? Okay, he's gonna get the... Oh, oh no, you press a button, Takarin. This is unfortunate. But Takarin does have two bars. I get scooped by the spike of... The pikes of... of uh, uh oh oh! Oh no, you hate to see it. Oh no. No, he had it. Rekha, you had it, man. You had it. You hate to see it. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Try to grab him. Oh, 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 oh and he's got the extension station thanks to the uh, the counter hit slow down. And just like this, Rekha stays in. He stays in the the tourney, man. 2 to 2. Is it going to go down to the wire? We shall see. That was pretty good, yeah. Not going to lie. Here we go. With the extension station again with the 2s to catch the mashing attempts from takarin he's gonna get the wall break global fans looking extremely good right now i guess hit by the oh by the overhead though okay here we go with gobo using the pose nobody was home though oh again with the 2s it's been working very good for gobo to just use uh, gobo fans to use d2s as an anti abari hit. Okay, Gobo fans holding on to the burst, but popping it at the absolute last moment. I don't know if I agree with it. Ah, and gets scooped by the two HS. And again, we are on set point. Is Gobo going to be able to save it twice in a row? We shall see. Ah, no 6P. No. Where's the 6P? Ah, he gets hit by the rainwater. This is unfortunate. Here we go with the delayed overhead. The, the delayed jump in. Ah, uh, things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. Takani definitely feeling himself, but here we go. Uh, here we go with Gobo fans with the pressure. He uses the overdrive to continue the pressure. Okay, here we go again with the pressure. Woo! Uses the Axel Bomber to get out of the corner. The momentum of the Axel, uh, the Axel Bomber. Here we go with the air to air in favor of, well, Takani, but unfortunately gets hit by Gobo fans. On his way down. Oh no, no grabs. 
There we go, jump in, go both hands again. Oh no, this time around he didn't get the bait. Oh, almost got grabbed. Oh, and he gets it by the standing P. Very nicely done by Takarin. Not gonna lie, that was a very clean 3 to nil at that. So let's see if Takarin has had the time to think about his previous loss against Kohide. And if he uh, will incorporate the necessary changes for it. Okay, here we go with the Diddy Conquest BGM. I do believe this is... Is it though? Alright, but anyways. Here we go. I think it is. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. That, that's the final boss. The absolute final boss of BGM. Remixed by uh, Game Metal, which I absolutely love. This guy, he does a lot of uh, metal remixes of plenty of various uh, uh, video games in general. Extremely talented individual. That being said, here we go with Takarin getting the knockdown and chipping away at Kohida's life ever so slightly. He goes for the air to air. Ah, very nice use of the overdrive right there from Takarin. Is he gonna go for the extension station? He will. Ah, nice, and he got the kill. Good stuff from Kohide, man. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, Kohide got the jump in. Oof. Oh, and he's got the juggle off of the 2k, the send the k. Unfortunate for uh, Takarin. Very fortunate for Kohide. Oh, and punishes at 6p as well, man. He's gonna get the wall splat into the overdrive. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's see. And he goes for an immediate. Damn, and a perfect fruit. That, that added to that, man. Uh-oh, I think we're gonna get a connection. I, I absolutely assure you. But that being said, here we go on to the second match. Let's see how this pans out. The spectator's experience itself still uh, seems pretty. Bare bones, yeah it is. Not being able to spectate after a match that started. Yeah it is man, I know right? If at least we could get this then... Yeah, yeah, I know right? Yeah, exactly. At, or at least put in... Put into the um, the, the netcode, not the netcode, but put into the, uh, the, the programming code that when the spectators get kicked out of the booth, then the players get kicked out of the booth as well. I'm sure it's not that complicated. I'm sure they can just in in incorporate it. So that both are sent back to the lobby and both can restart the spectating and, you know, match playing experience. If they could only do this, but and I'm, I'm sure it's not that complicated, you know. Not even find like a, um, a way to solve the, the spectator getting kicked out, but kicking everybody out then. Just doing it, well, like, out of the booth. I mean, not out of the lobby. I'm sure they can do it. I'm sure they can. And I'm sure it's not that complicated. But anyways, uh, that being said, here we go with uh, Kohide losing the first round, actually, and uh, Takain taking it very, very convincingly. Huh. Okay, Takain managed to make his way out of the corner this time round. He tried to go with a very sleazy, a very slick uh, air combo. Unfortunately, Kohide wakes up with the air, with the uh, overdrive and Takarin uses the uh, fully charged dust to punish him for it. Very nice check right there from Takarin with the 2k to the Puts one on the board as well. Hopefully we won't get kicked this time around. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's a gamble. And the worst part of it all, it's like it's, uh, it's faster for me to host tournaments with and, and still do like first to threes, which means that after one set they can rematch right away. Rather than like doing a first to one, forcing both opponents each time to go back to the lobby after each set and restarting the match all the time. It's actually uh, quicker for me to like be uh, plagued sometimes by the connection error. And we save like 30 minutes rather than, uh, than like doing first to ones and then forcing everybody back to the lobby after each set. <clears throat> So yeah, man, it's just really sad. Anyways, that being said, we go with the grab by Kohide, man. Definitely does not want to go through a, re a bracket reset in order to, um, you know, risk it. He just wants to take it as quickly as possible. A very nice jump in right there from Kohide. Manages to get full combo right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Wall break, positive bonus for Kohide. Okay, he got the, he got the backdash attempts right there from Takarin. He decides to keep the attention, actually. Oh no! Nobody there. Very nice 6p right there from Kohide. 
He goes for Nasante and goes for the quick, does for the kill. And just like this, Kohide is up 2 to 1. One more uh, win for Kohide and he takes it. He may win the tournament, but we shall see. Never count Takarin out. He's definitely no stranger to pressure. No stretcher to... Uh, no, no stretcher. <laughs> no pressure to uh, being the... Well, being on the uh, end, end of the line. Oh, here we go with the... Oh, with the burst. Koide definitely was aiming to get a gold burst right there. Here we go. The Axel Bomber is going to get another Axel Bomber, maybe. No, it doesn't go for the Axel Bomber. He actually does. For the wall break, that is. Ah, and th that was the correct way of thinking. But yeah, for some... Uh, unfortunate reason, the Nasante got scooped by the Rainwater. That being said, here we go with the knockdown by Takanin. Catches the backdash from Kohide with the close S. Oh, and here we go with the jump in. Good stuff from Kohide. Ah, goes for the reset with the uh, the uh, cannon drill. Very nice combo. So look at the damage. What was that? That was crazy. That was awesome. Holy shriek. Ah, very nice. Check right there from Takani grabbing. Okay. I don't know. Oh, Lord! Good stuff from Kohide. He's got the corner pressure. Ah, forces Takarin to spin. Oh, no! Oh, no, Takarin! Oh, Lord! And the comeback, man, from Kohide. One to one. If Ko This is tournament point. If Kohide takes it, he wins. Wins the tournament. Good stuff from Kohide. Definitely smelling it. Smelling the fear. Smelling the... Oh yeah. He, he's definitely feeling himself. He's got the kickflip in. Wants to keep the uh, tension bar for uh, extension. Thank you very much for the follow, Twango. And welcome to the bro drop. And here we go. And I think, yes. Kohide took it a clean 3-2-1. Good stuff from...